Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today's video is super exciting because it's actually my first ever jumping lesson with my coach on Smokey. So he's been taken back to basics. We've done all of our flat work and groundwork with him because he was really lacking in that. And now it's time to start jumping him properly. So I've been popping him over a few single jumps on my own, just getting him back used to jumping and he's been doing fantastic. But today we're gonna to start asking some questions and start really pushing him to learn to jump properly. So it gets interesting. But one thing I just wanted to say is I know we're not perfect at this stage. He's a young horse. I'm just getting back into jumping. So please try and keep the comments really positive because I want this to be a really positive experience and I want to be able to bring you guys on the journey with me. That said, I have some really exciting news at the end of this video. So watch till the end. And also before I run the clips, there is a bit of blurring to begin with. It's slightly out of focus, but it does come into focus soon. I just couldn't miss out the clips that aren't quite in focus because it's kind of a whole part of the session that, you know, I need to explain. But anyway, guys, enjoy the video and watch till the end. So I obviously warmed up before my session began, but this is the start of the session. So today we're working on Smokey's confidence in jumping and getting his stride and just basically so my trainer could assess where he's at currently. Now he has competed, he's done one competition in his, in his previous home, none with me, and I took him sort of back to basics and really wanted to get those right before I started jumping him. So we've not done a huge amount. So the first thing that we started with today was some canter poles set out to the correct distance, just so that we can see that he's going over them nicely and that he has got the correct stride for going into a jump. So the idea is that we'll start with poles on the ground, as you can see he went over them really nicely, and then to progress to grid work. Now I have not done any grid work on my own with Smokey, so this will actually be the first time of us doing grid work together. I've just been working on his confidence with um, single jumps, and I have jumped a course on him. But as you can see, he took to the exercise really well. Now, as this is something that Smokey hasn't done since about last September, any grid work at all, I was super, super proud of him to begin with. Now, you'll see as we go along, as the grid gets more complex, Smokey starts to lose that confidence in himself and starts to try and run out. Now, he's never, ever run out with me previously, but that's because we're doing a completely new exercise he's never done before. So, we're going to take baby steps and each time we add a jump, we're going to put it as a small cross pole and we're going to work on jumping that jump individually, building his confidence so that he goes over that nicely and then slowly adding it into the grid. Now the key here is not to tell Smokey off when he um, tries to run out or when he lacks that confidence and does something that I don't want, but it's just to correct it. So rather than pushing him and pushing him to do something that he's not sure about, we take it one step back, make sure he was confident with that, then ask again. And this is then going to be a really good way of creating that positive reinforcement with him for jumping so that his confidence does grow and so that each time he's going over a jump confidently. But as you can see, he was doing really great and he soon progressed to having three jumps in the grid.
picked up on me over. <laughs> So once we had the grid down and Smokey was jumping that consistently, we then added fillers and again this is something that he has never ever done before with me and he absolutely flew it, he was so good. Now he did rush it to begin with because it's he was nervous and it is something new but he didn't refuse it and he didn't run out which is all that matters at this stage. So after a bit of a breather we then moved on to working on getting him over different types of fillers. So to begin with we are literally starting with really baby steps so there's a big black and yellow filler that he likes to spook at every time he goes past. So what we decided is for this session as we've asked quite a lot of him to do new things we'd put it next to a jump and just get him jumping over it next to it for now. And we are going to also add some new fillers in that he's never seen before. And the key to this is we didn't want him rushing into the jump. So we were just going into it in trot, just nice and steady. But to encourage him over it and to build that confidence, as we said before. This entire session isn't about me or my position. As much as that needs improving, it's all about just getting Smokey's confidence. So we're not worried about his lead when he's landing. We're not worried about the shape I'm making over a jump. All we're worried about today is trying to build that pony's confidence so that we can then start tweaking and refining everything else. And today's session has really given me a lot more confidence in our jumping so I'm really excited to see where we go from here.
you get um sweaty smokes. Good boy, you're very sweaty. Go on, bath. <laughs> you're not the only sweaty one, mate. So as you can see, me and Smokey worked very hard in that session. I was so pleased with him. We have a long, long way to go, but this is such a massive improvement for us. So I'm so proud of him. And f for me, you know, I haven't really jumped properly in years. This is my first jumping lesson since I was a teenager, really. So I'm really proud of both of us. I think he did amazing. And I have some exciting news. So my trainer has finally given me a kick up the bum and has booked it in for our first competition. So that will be coming very soon in the videos, guys. I'll keep you updated on how that goes. We have a few trips out as well planned um, for training purposes and a few other bits and bobs. So we are heading out. So there'll be a lot more smoky videos coming very soon. So I hope you enjoy them um, because as I say, there's lots more to come and I'm very excited to see what me and him are capable of as we learn and grow together. I'm just getting soaked for you doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think absolutely not. Yeah. Fuming. <laughs> I whip my hair back and So after a very thorough bath, it was then time to turn Smokey out and that brings us to the end of the video. So thank you so much guys for watching my jumping lesson. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I hope you're enjoying seeing our journey and our progress. It's slow and steady, but my goodness, we are getting there and he's made so much of an improvement and so have I. As I, I know it's not perfect um, and I know there's a lot of things that I could nitpick and pull myself up for but I'm not going to because overall I'm just so proud of both of us. So don't forget guys to like and subscribe. You definitely don't want to miss some upcoming videos so turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!